So I have a gorgeous set of khaki green nails to show you all today. So my client has come in and I've started off by sanitizing her hands and my hands. And then I'm going in with a cuticle pusher and I'll push back her. <laughs> I will push back her cuticles. <laughs> Um, I'm then going in with the Skittles bit from Nail Dot Supplies. The link is in the description box. And I'm just going around the nail folds and the cuticle area with that. And then going over with a fine sanding band to remove any dead skin off the nail plate and etch the nail plate. And it looks like I'm being really vigorous, but I'm absolutely just tickling the surface of her nails. Um, these sanding bands are so fine, they hardly do anything. Um, but they're just really good for etching the nail plate and it's not the tool that does the damage, it's the fool using them. So please don't be alarmed that I use a sanding band on the nail because I assure you I am trained, I know what I'm doing and I would never ever damage my client's nails. So I'm then going to go ahead and cleanse the nails really, really well, changing the side of the tissue that I'm wiping it with. And as you can see on this pinky, the last set of nails she had on, she went scuba diving because she was on honeymoon and ended up snapping it off. So she really damaged her nail quite bad, um, which is why it looks really raggedy and really horrible, which isn't nice to see as her nail tech as well. Um, so I'm just showing you how I will then rig that form. I will place the bit of the form that comes out the centre and I'll place that on the back of the roundness to make it more square, to make that fit that nail really nicely and snugly. And then I did go ahead and just trim the side a little bit so the side walls were in perfect as well. The colour I'm using here is Birthday Suit and today I'm using my big boy brush. A lot of people have been saying why do I change my brushes so often. Um, it's just something I do. I'm a bit of a, a brush whore. <laughs> like, um, I swap and change all of the time to what brush I like to use, um, which one takes my fancy for that day. There really is no kind of preference. I just like to swap and change. Um, but it is normally usually between my alpha and my big boy. So I'm going to carry on and sculpt the nails out for my client. Usually I wouldn't advise going this kind of length when you have really short or damaged nails. However, it was just this one nail that was really um, quite short and so we have succumbed and let her have an extension the same length as the rest of her nails making sure that you have a nice apex there's no need to encapsulate these core powders so making sure your strength your structure and your shape is all on point making sure that you are doing as much work with your brush rather than relying on your file and then as I move on to the next nail, I will apply a second coat of primer because the other one has been left dormant for so long while I created the other nail. Um, if I'm working really quickly, I will not double prime. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference really much if you double prime, especially with acid. Um, with anything, you want to be careful you don't over prime. Um, you want to know what you're doing with your primer. I mean, I double prime because I know the nail has been sat there for a while. Um, but it's not always necessary to apply a second coat of acid primer. Less is definitely more. So on this nail I am sculpting out the free edge in crystal glass and then I'm just going to measure up some fine netting from the Glitter Fairy because we're going to put some netting and glitter onto this nail. So I'm just cutting some off here with my scissors and then measuring where I would like it to sit. When I'm happy with that, I will just put that down and find my glue. But while I'm messing around, I will go ahead and pinch the pinky finger because I want to make sure I get my pinch in. I'm taking Kira Sky Base, which is basically like a glue, and I'm pinching in that nail form so we have a nice C curve. I'm brushing that glue on the area where I'd like the net in to stick, and then I'm just going to place it on and pull it tight with my fingers. Careful not to glue your fingers to the nail. Then what I'm going to do is take some of this gorgeous metallic glitter from the Glitter Fairy. This is the multi-cut and I think it is old gold. 
I think I will leave the name in the description box anyway, but it's just a stunning metallic gold glitter. Really, really pretty. And she has lots and lots of different colours. And I'm just going to place this at the join. So obviously I don't want to see the natural free edge. And I'm just going to cover the natural free edge and feather it up and slightly downwards as well. And then I'm going to cap this nail. Um, I'm not too fussed about trimming off the excess of the netting because it is such a fine netting anyway. It will just seep through just use your acrylic a little bit wetter than you would usually so it can get in and cap and um, but once you do file it away it just it'll just come away really really easily so again making sure i'm keeping the shape as nice and neat as i can with my brush because again i don't want to be filing for ages So the rest of the nails are going to be birthday suits, so I'm just going to sculpt these out. Um, I always apply my bead on the join of the nail form. If I'm doing bigger nails, build up the free edge and then I'll go in with my second bead. And if I need any more beads to, you know, complete my structure, then I will go ahead and do that. You know, don't be shy to apply more beads if you feel you need to. Making that, I'm keeping that, making sure I'm keeping that shape nice and neat and crisp. I don't want these nails to be, when you're doing a set that's quite plain, um, you want to make sure your shape is on point. And that's what I'm trying to do here, making sure I'm going back and pinching those previous nails as well. So I went ahead and filed and shaped all of the nails, but I'm not going to buff them because I want them to have a rough surface for the gel polish I'm going in with to adhere to. So I'm using CGLP in Soldier Boy and this is the most perfect khaki green you will ever find in a gel. It is so stunning. And I'm just placing this at the cuticle area, swiping my brush from side to side, making sure I'm not being really rough, 
kind of floating the gel on the gel polish on that nail cleaning up any mess that I make around the cuticle area and making sure I'm capping that free edge as well just to make sure we're not going to have any surface breakdowns or chips occurring on the nails And once I'm done with the first coat, I'll cure that in my Sun 3 LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then I will go in and apply a second coat to all of the nails. The second coat is full coverage, as you can see yourself. It goes on really well and covers all of the imperfections on the nail and just looks really, really gorgeous. I'll cure the second coat in the lamp for another 60 seconds and then when she comes out of the lamp I will go ahead and apply the top shine. So I'm using the CGLP top shine for the gel polish nails because I always think it's best to use the same system um, because obviously each system is designed to go perfectly with that so I naturally will go ahead and use the CGLP range and you can see just how beautifully shiny this top coat is. I'm applying a nice amount but I'm not flooding any areas making sure that I'm still keeping these layers nice and thin. The thicker it is the more chance you have of it bubbling or peeling away. Um, when your client leaves which is not nice so you don't want to do that make sure you're keeping it thin and make sure you're capping the side walls and the free edge area because a lot of people tend to miss that area of the nail it's so easy to do and um, but make sure you just check over and then before I place these into the lamp to cure I will go and take my CJP tack free top gloss and apply that to the nail that has the glitter and the netting in and you can really see this design come to life like it's so simple but so effective i really 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 loved how this set of nails turned out so when they come out of the lamp i'm going to take um cleanse isopropyl alcohol to remove the tacky layer on the gel polish and then i will go ahead and apply my cuticle oil and then i've left a little clip at the end for you to see the finished result i was so proud of these nails i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you did will you give me a thumbs up i would love that and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do i love you all and i'll see you soon bye